Allah has taught them lessons. And the most famous from them, Allah Almighty has kept them as a lesson. Allah Almighty has used them as a lesson. Famous people like Fir'aun, Nimrud, Qarun, Haman, Abu Jahl, Abu Lahab. These are famous people who are renowned thugs of their time. If you want me to relate it to today's terminology, they were the biggest gangsters of their time. They were the biggest thugs of their time. Fir'aun was a huge thug. He was a billionaire, trillionaire, all the gold, all the money, all the power. He killed who he wanted, he left who he wanted, he spared who he wanted. He was worshipped by people. He had it all, everything. More power than what you find people today have. You read about Fir'aun. You read, you know when Fir'aun found out from the fortune tellers, those who read and who can tell the future, when he found out that there's going to be a boy that's going to destroy him, you know what Fir'aun said? You know, this year, every boy that is born in the household, you will kill him. Every. Next year, every girl that is born, you will kill her. And every year, you will keep doing that. You will keep doing that. That's how much power this guy had. He had it all. Brother, you have nothing compared to Fir'aun. What did Allah Almighty do to Fir'aun? What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do to Fir'aun? How Allah Almighty taught us a lesson through Fir'aun. Allah Almighty, <coughs> the year that the boys were to be killed, there was one, the one that was going to go toe to toe with Fir'aun, he ended at his house. Look at how Allah Almighty works. The one that was going to bring Fir'aun down, Musa alayhi salatu salam in a basket arrived outside Fir'aun's palace. Fir'aun's wife took Musa alayhi salatu salam and said, what a beautiful child. What a beautiful child. We can't kill him, he's beautiful. He's come, then we'll spare him. Allahu Akbar, Musa alayhi salam grew up in Fir'aun's house. And Allah Almighty was going to destroy Fir'aun and said, the person that will destroy you, he's growing up in your house. He will teach you a lesson. Allah Almighty taught Fir'aun a lesson. When Fir'aun, million man army, million man army. You know when you talk about a firm, you talk about a crew. Fir'aun had the biggest crew, million in his army, in his crew. And Musa a.s. when he arrived at that river, Musa a.s. said, Allah open this river for me. When Allah Almighty opened the river, Musa alayhi salam got to the end. When Fir'aun got to the middle, Allah Almighty said, this is the end of this great tiger. This man who claims to be proud, this man who thinks he's everything, this man who has this thug life mentality of that time, I will destroy him. And what will I use? We'll get into the middle of the sea and then I will send the water and I will drown him in there. Allah destroyed Fir'aun. You go a little further behind in history and go to Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam and Nimrud. It's another example Allah destroyed Nimrud. You know what Allah Almighty, how Allah destroyed Nimrud? He sent Ibrahim alayhi salam, warned him, worship on Allah, worship on Allah. Don't think you're everything. Don't get proud. You think you got it, what do you got? You ain't got nothing. Don't do it. Don't do it. Nimrud said no. I am the man, I've got it all, I've got the crown, I've got the, the best vehicles of that time, I've got the best clothes of that time, I have control of the whole world, I'm the most powerfulest in this world. Allah Almighty in the Quran said, Allah Almighty is not shy to give you examples of a mosquito or something smaller than a mosquito, Allah will give you an example of that. Allah is not shy. That He gives you an example of a ba'uda. Give you an example of a mosquito. What did Allah Almighty do to Nimrud? Allah Almighty sent a mosquito and the mosquito went up his nose. It went into his brain and it began to eat his brain out. 
Allah Almighty is teaching him the lesson. Change your ways. Otherwise I will destroy you. I will give you such a lesson that I will mention it in the greatest book of all. And it will be an example until the end of time of somebody who thinks he's bad, somebody who thinks he's a thug, somebody who thinks he can, he owns and he has the power, he thinks he's bigger than Allah Almighty in his actions, in his speech, I will teach him a lesson. There's no one bigger than Allah Almighty. Nobody bigger than Allah. No power greater than the power of Allah Almighty. That mosquito began to eat inside uh, Nimrud's head, his brain. Nimrud said to his doctors, look, I'll get the best doctors. Who's going to cure me? The best doctors. He tried, the best doctors came. He said, it's too much pain. You know what to do? Get hammers and start hammering my head. It's too much pain. Look at that. Imagine you're in so much pain and you want the pain to stop. He said, I want you to beat me. I want you to beat me till I'm numb, till I'm black and blue. So I can't feel no more pain. But Allah Almighty, painful death. Look, Allah is teaching this man a lesson. Again and again, you thought you were big. You thought you had it all. Look, I destroyed you with a mosquito, nothing. I ended you with a mosquito, nothing. What are you? You think you're powerful? What have you got? You think you're a son? You think you're a bad boy? You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Allah Almighty will teach these people a lesson. And Allah Almighty taught Nimrud a lesson. Then in the end, his head was cracked open. His body was battered and bruised. And then he died. Died. That was the end of Nimrud. Look at that. He had everything. Who remembers Nimrud? Who remembers these gangsters, these thugs?